Okay. It's, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. The video y'all about to watch is probably a month, maybe two. Might be two months now. But I got to catch y'all up on some stuff. So this is an old video. And then I'm going to do some current videos because your girl's been making videos. And then I'm going to catch y'all up with the official latest news and what's been going on in my world. So stay tuned. I'm trying to see. Can y'all see me from this angle? Because I'm in the shade. But let me turn around and see if that's help. You know what? At this point, y'all about to get whatever light this video gives. And I'll be talking junk in my comments like, girl, this light is terrible. We can't see you. It's a blur. Because I'm high. But anyway, I think the last time I saw y'all, it's been about a month now. And I was on my whole, ooh, we're going to do the August Fit Challenge. I'm out here working. I'm walking and all this type of stuff. Let me tell you, this since the last video what was like day 10 or 12 i can't even remember after that last video my body just shut down like it shut down like i normally like have little aches and pain here and there with my back but nothing like this even when i was recording those videos my back was hurting but i could deal with it i could deal with it then let me tell you i think it was like whatever day the last video was that next day i got up and when I tell you, my whole body, body was sore, like my back, it feels like. And even now, it's still hurting. I just went to the doctor. What's today? What is today? Dang, my mind is blank. Whenever I upload this video, that's what day it is. So what is it? Shoot. Wednesday. Girl, get it together. I went to the doctor last Friday. Let me tell you something. First of all, they want to do a MRI on me. And the last one I had was in 2019. Pretty much say your, your girl back toe. That's just the gist of the toe. And um, anyway, she put my prescription in. Y'all, why I get to CVS, pick my medicine up. And they was like, oh, we don't have the medicine that she ordered for you. Blah, blah, blah. They was like, we only got a higher dose and she wants you on this one. So I called a doctor, nothing. And I'm like, wait a minute. Y'all close at 6. My appointment was, let's just say, 11, 12. Y'all close at 6 and ran to the phone. Y'all voicemails telling me that y'all check y'all voicemails multiple times throughout the day. So, all day Friday, in my job, I've been hurting, been putting on a tiger bomb, been putting on any type of pain medicine I can get my hands on, like the usual, of course. Wasn't working, which I knew it was going to work. I need me some ankle narcotics. Like, I need like some pain medicine. So, they didn't have my medicine. Saturday go by. I was like, what the heck? I'm calling the drugstore. Oh, we're still waiting for her to call us back. I'm like, yo, are you serious? Like, at this point, my back is like somebody just straight boxing on my back. Like, it's like a throbbing pain. And it goes down the back of my leg. And I'm like, yo, this is ridiculous. Like, at this point, I could have went to urgent care and at least got me a three-day supply of pills. <laughs> you know, if I knew this was going to be the case. Sunday morning, same thing. It wasn't until about 2 o'clock, maybe 3 on Sunday, I got a call saying, oh, your prescription's ready, blah, blah, blah. And then Monday, she calls me, the doctor, and was like, oh, yeah, just want to let you know your medicine is there. I'm like, dang. Well, I'll leave it. Leave off it. So anyway, Monday, they called me around 2 or 3 and was like, yeah, we got your medicines at the store. I go pick it up back. She sends me the link over to schedule my appointment to get my ride done. Now, me, I don't do closed in spaces like tunnels. Like, let's say we had a music park and you, you know, how you go to Disney, get a little tight rides. That's the one thing because I can see opening, I can see the roof, I can see the sky. But the MR machine, I was like, mm, no, I could have had one done this week. Today is Wednesday. So, yeah, I was had scheduled one for Friday. Then it hit me. I was like, wait a minute, do y'all have a open MRI? I said, because I don't like to be in tight spaces like that. So, that was Tuesday, I think. Anyway, I ended up calling that hospital. And they were like, no, the only one that has it is in this area, which is like maybe 40 minutes from where I stay at. I was like, all right, cool. I set the appointment. Why they call me back to tell me we need to cancel your appointment? Because we, hold on. Say hey to my twin real quick. Say hey, girlfriend. Hey, 
Hey. She got her little red lipstick on. But anyway, why did they call me to tell me basically that they need to cancel my appointment because they don't have open MRIs? And I was like, what? So today, Wednesday, they called me back and was like, hey, you know, I'm here to schedule an appointment. Blah, 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 we have it at this office, they can see you this week. And I'm like, cool, bet, let's set him. Y'all, why they tell me the closest open MRI is three hours away? Now, this little funky place I done moved to, this little area, I was like, <laughs> ain't no way y'all telling me the only open MRI y'all have is three hours away? I said, that's not realistic. I said, so I hop on Google, and this place is about 15 minutes from my house. It's not a part of the hospital, but they do... You know, MRIs, ultrasounds, and all that there. And I was like, y'all can do my stuff there and just send, a, you know, the records over to the hospital. Hold on. So, hold on, my other kids. One speaking, they can't say hey to one or the other. I don't know if y'all can see them too good down the swing. But anyway, she says the appointment. And she was like, yeah, they have an open one. Yeah, that's what I was at. It was three hours away. First of all, the way my body is set up right now, I cannot sit in no car for three hours get this MRI done and then got to three hours back home I said that ain't gonna work so I called them back and I was like look first y'all told me one location had, has it then they called me back and told me they don't have it I said and you mean to tell me the closest place y'all have is three hours away from here I said it's not gonna work I said I need something closer I said I understand I need this MRI done but so y'all can do what y'all need to do I said but I can't drive three hours so now here I am once again waiting because I called the doctor back again today to see what's up and nothing mind you the pill she gave me give or take they last 10 she almost like a half a pill so i have maybe maybe six days left maybe six days left so i'm like okay so i'm actually moving somewhat better but let me, let me tell you something about this medicine this medicine does not take the pain away whatsoever it helps a little bit but your girl still is in pain. Like when I say I was like a, uh, you guys stop that noise. When I say like my pain was like a 10, like right now with this medicine, I'll give it a strong eight. Like I'm moving better, but it's still there. This medicine, if anything, makes you sleepy. And that's what a lot of narcotics, they make you sleepy more so than taking pain away. So I guess, I honestly see how people can get addicted to it because not me, but <laughs> I'm not even gonna say not me, but yeah, not me though, cause I ain't addicted to pills, but it makes you sleepy and if you're asleep all the time, if you know you're going to wake up in pain again, you would take more pills to go back to sleep. So I can see why people get addicted to pills. So, but if y'all have issues with that and need help, like for real, seek help, get help. Like it ain't worth losing your life over an addiction. So that's my little positive tip for that. Anyway, that's just a quick update. I got so many clothes to show you guys. Like I didn't even show you. Y'all, I was going out obviously before my back got so up. And my whole, my kids are screaming like I want to push them in this swing in this heat. My whole closet is like on the floor. The whole rack. <laughs> First of all, this closet is small anyway compared to our old house. Like the whole rack with my shoes on the ground. So where I was doing my shorts, I was in my bathroom doing it because like the bathroom i need to do a bathroom tour once i get my closet fixed because literally right now all my shoes are in the bathroom just lined up all right so excuse me where was i at so anyway i typically do my shorts in my bathroom because those are the brightest lights and i have like windows above my shower so like the natural light comes in i have enough room to do my walks to do my trial and plus it's quiet my kids in my way and so my closet is told up. That whole rack fell down. And I had told Brian, I was like, look, dude. As long as my back been hurt, it's been a week, a month now. I was like, I need my closet fixed. I already um put call myself being Bob the Builder. <laughs> and I got some little putty and put some putty on the wall. Because like it ripped a hole in it dry what you call it, a drywall or whatever. So I got that patched back up. I just need to get another little white hook to put in the wall so it can slide into it. But yeah, so I need to get my closet fixed. Like, I have other rooms in the house I could do my shorts in, but I like my bathroom because if I go downstairs in that room where I did, what was it, the, the little purple boots? The last video I did the fashion of haul when I was on that white, white sofa, I could do it down there, but the way I have to have my camera set up, 
Or I could just give me a stitch of cord, like a little cable. Because I like, that has a lot of light in that room. We have neutral curves in that room. But yeah. And anyway, rambling. That's why I've been doing shorts. Because I like to do them come from my bathroom, my room. Because it's really quiet. But once I start getting better. Because I haven't even worn my heels, y'all. Like, you know, that's like, ugh. Like, I'm outside the park with my husband slides on. And no, I ain't got no big feet. They just comfortable. So yeah, once I get to feeling better because fashion I've been bringing up on some sales and your girl been buying and Brian was like, love, why are you buying these clothes in your closet broke as this because you got too much stuff <laughs> because they on sale. That's why. So yeah, once I get my closet situated or not even or and when I get to feeling better, I can not I can. I will start doing my shorts again. But I got some cute outfits to show you guys. And plus it's about to be fall, so I ordered me a couple of jumpsuits. And one of them, y'all, was made. I had got my size, but those comments didn't lie. When they say their outfit runs big, like it runs big. So I had to go down two sizes. Now with that being said, I hope I can wear that when you get here. <laughs> I hope I can wear that. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, let me take this little girl to swing. So, where was I at? I don't know. These kids, they distracted me. It's 90 degrees out here. And I know fall's in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's what I was talking about, the jumpsuit. Hopefully, when it get here, I can wear it because I ain't got my exact size and it runs too big. So, I was trying to go down one size, but they didn't have it. So, I got a large. We're going to back a bit up in it. I know this neighbor looking at me. He looking real nosy. Like, who's going to talk to while her kids running around? But I'm, at least I'm at the park with my kids. Usually, I'll be in the car, but my car is like right there. So, I can see them anyway if I sit in my car. But anyway, guys, that is it. I feel like I haven't caught y'all up on enough. No, oh, actually, I started school. Let me tell you about school. So, me. <laughs> if you don't know, I am. Well, I was in school for early childhood education. And I have four classes left to get my associate degree. Two classes only offered in the summer. And then the other two, you know, I have to do at an actual daycare. Well, they didn't offer it. Obviously, because fall semester now. So, I ended up switching program and now i'm doing criminal justice technology why criminal justice technology you are wondering i've always been interested into the law now do i plan on doing anything with this absolutely not but girl why are you taking it like why my answer to that is like why not it's something i was wanting to do i was going to do that go to school for cosmetology child care that just so happened because i was in that field like i worked for like two years at this daycare and it was like all right you need to get your credentials to start it did that got my credentials and took classes here and there but nothing like to pursue a degree in it and then like once i said once the pandemic hit i was like you know what you ain't doing nothing else the world shut down basically you need to just shoot they offering it go ahead and do it so i took online classes and now i have four classes left will i go back to eventually finish that program yeah because like why would i come this far you know and just stop like i said two classes at um what is it, like curriculum planning and I can't think of the other one, but it's easy nonetheless. I know the I know the word. Like when I tell you, that was like the easiest thing for me to do because like I done pharmacy technician, I have my certificate in that. That is like the easiest thing to do because I'm familiar with the word. So it wasn't hard for me to do. Criminal just on the other hand, the classwork and they said I'm taking three classes this semester. I'm doing an intro to criminal justice, uh juvenile detention, and then it's like a what you call that? pretty much a class that what is it like a college success class like ACA no AC whatever it is it's pretty much basically how to prepare to be the best college student you can be one of the classes that's like electives and I was like that's simple enough I'm just gonna do that well criminal justice I done had three tests already one class is a test every week and let me tell you it's not hard but I ain't ready oh uh, I haven't read that one book yet. Like I've been like scheming through the pages, skimming. How you say skimming? Scam? I said scheming <laughs> through the pages. And surprisingly, you've been passing. And honestly, it's real life. It's common sense. What you think they would want a book? A book answer? No, they want real life. Like I had one incident, like one scenario, and it was like three kids in a car, and one of like the driver scratched it. Okay, you got this one kid. He's so loud. Taxes, you got one kid. Get for taxes, get for taxes. Single parent. Get Mama got three kids. They live in the hood, basically. He's a trouble student at, oh. like at school, but he loves Super working at his job at the um, auto shop. So one night, him and his friends go out. They get pulled in the tail light. One of the friends is like, you know what? 
he only put us over because we black. Um, yada yada yada. So now you ask for ID for everybody. The question came about, what do you do because you find about you found. Hold on. So the question comes up. Okay. Hold on. They playing how to seek around me. The question comes about, what do you do? Do you arrest everybody because you found a bag of weed? Now, mind you, everybody got prior records, but none of them have active warrants. And then it's so they give you like a multiple choice. And the question is, basically, did they get pulled over because they were black? Or is he in trouble because he has a single family? Or is it because he's a black male? No, no, is it because he's a male? Is it because he's black? Or is it because he comes from a single family? And then my mom thinking like, why would they have this flat out answer? Like, oh, it's because they're black. I was like, maybe it's because it's a male. Because mind you, the chapter before when I had, you know, flip through the pages is basically saying how males typically you know get arrested more so than females or the charges and this and the third i said i don't think they would just flat out put out you know oh he black and i said his being i said being that he's coming from a single family household that has nothing to do with him being a criminal because i know plenty of kids who got single parents and they don't get in no trouble you know with the law i should say so i had my answer they was like and eh. i was like wait a minute that correct answer was because they were black he ain't care nothing about their priors nothing and it was like when you're doing this course don't think of a politically correct answer think of what you really see so we really get pulled over but like we, we know this anyway like we know we get pulled over because we're black but in that instance y'all got pulled over for a tailgate but he's taking everybody in aside from the fact that they had a bag of weed in the car because they didn't say well whose was it so you can pull everybody anyway so yeah the thing is don't think too deep when it comes to reading your textbook they want real life answers so that was, a, that was the answer. Forget the tail light, he bringing them all in because it was black. That was the correct answer. I was like, it's giving races very much, but shoot, that's the world we live in. And I ain't gonna say everybody race, cause everybody ain't. Like, I got a few white friends I be dealing with, but at the end of the day, that's the world we live in. And I see that studying the criminal justice. And another thing I also learned, which we knew that, what was I like this week? What am I talking about? They're talking about dang my bun all big. Ouch shoot. <laughs> um this week we were talking about minorities in the field like challenges. Hold on, my bun so big. I put my little fake dress back in. <laughs> and my bun big. But another thing, my face look hella fat too. I probably should like that fake side. Your girl, even I was walking. I ain't losing no weight either, y'all. <laughs> I really maintain it. But another thing I learned, ouch mm. shoot. When it comes to minorities, white colleagues feel that when you have a black officer or a officer of color, they feel that they would look out for their own in the community. And then you have black folks and people of color who see other officers, well, like civilians who see, you know, black officers or people of color, I should say, they look at them as basically a sellout. So that is a con that they have going against each other. This is something we know, but when you read it, it's like, dang, it really is like that. Um, also how females, how they have it hard with dealing with not feeling like they can do their job basically because they are a female or having to deal with sexual harassment within the work field and also while they on the street doing their job. So I can say like so far it's really interesting. It's not one of them classes like child care, I see how to say, where I ain't got to study because with daycare is like shoot I know the work take my test boom pass it this I'm actually having to study which is a good thing because I know nothing about it it's something I want to do and so far like I said I like the class so far so we'll see this honestly is like a two year to complete everything but I noticed they have like whereas child care only had two workshops this one has like four and another it's a lot of writing in this class like you know how every week you have to do your little forms i am literally writing three, like the other day i had to do a 300 page then i had to comment on somebody with a hundred words not 300 page i had to do 300 words i should say and then i had to comment on somebody else post with a hundred words i have to submit videos in weekly whether i'm showing my whole face or just eight points over then i have to comment on somebody else's videos so it's a lot of stuff like that that i'm not used to so yeah but anyway, guys, that is it. I feel like I don't ramble enough. Oh, my thing keep cutting off. But anyway, that is it for this video. I feel like I don't ramble enough and caught y'all up with what's been going on. Hopefully, I can get this MRI done soon. 
get some more pills in my system because your girl baby hurt and I can't even walk up my shoes right without looking crazy. And once I get myself to being 100% back, the shorts will be back. And honestly, I could do a sit down video just to show you guys something that I just recently ordered. I end up sending some stuff back. I told y'all that. So hopefully, because I had to reorder them a different size, some bigger, some smaller. When they get here, I can show you. I can show you what I have now if y'all want to see. Just let me know. Anyway, that is it for this video. As always, make sure you like, comment. This sounds like hit my face. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.